Hello, everyone. It's Angelique Renee, holistic beauty expert and licensed esthetician. And I am coming to you today from Orlando, Florida. I have my dear friend, Allie, out in Colorado Springs. Hi, Allie. Hey, good to be <laughs> here tonight. Absolutely. And tonight is the third installment of our holiday beauty series. And if you didn't catch the last two, we actually had the last two Mondays, short and sweet, under 30 minutes where we talked about how to avoid gaining weight during the holidays, how to manage your stress during the holidays. And today's segment is going to be on how to reverse the clock on aging. And we felt this was perfect timing right before the holidays so you can be photo ready. And yes. I will say the other two segments were leading up to what we're going to be talking about tonight because stress and weight also play a way and play a role in how you appear with your age and how you age yes definitely so we are so excited so i know ali and i have shared in the in the past segments that we both had our own kind of transformation weight journey and i know both of us if you look at our pictures today we look <laughs> significantly younger than we did like 10 years ago Yes. Yes. It's it's amazing. Really. When you think about it, that you truly can age backward when you um, treat your body well and give it what it needs. So it's fun to keep challenging, right? Like how can we keep going backward? <laughs> Absolutely. Measure, monitor, and adjust. It's about tweaking as we go. And, and, you know, anybody that goes through a transformation can tell you that it's layers, layers of different things that need to be addressed over time. And then you get to a point that when it's a lifestyle, it's all about fine tuning and new science yeah. comes out, new research comes out and um, you just figure out, you know, where those missing gaps are. So you can kind of measure, monitor and adjust along the way. And I have always said, it's not just about longevity. It's about vitality yeah. in those years. Absolutely. Yeah. So kind of our first Point, and this carries over a little bit because everything works together. If you're healthy and hydrated, not only are you healthier, but you look more youthful. So water, I know was on one of our bullet points for one of our other uh, conversations, but it's very relevant to um, looking more youthful, right? So getting plenty of hydration. Absolutely. And one of the things we talked about in one of our last segments was starting off with water, even just first thing in the morning, especially yeah. if it's room temperature, a little bit warm, adding some lemon to it because it helps to detoxify the blood and the kidneys, get your digestion started. But I've found I have a lot of clients that have come to me and tell me they don't like drinking water. Yes. So yeah. In that case, we we'll want to talk about some tips and tricks on how you right. can get more water in. <laughs> what, what I would do, this is kind of a, a interesting thing when I was doing a lot of commuting and running kids around and trying to get my water in. And you know how, how they always say, don't drink and drive. <laughs> I would be intentional and I would take my water bottle filled up and I would have my goal be to be once I got to my destination that I had finished it. Now, if, if it's 50 or 60 ounces, that would be too much, but this, I usually do about a 24 ounce bottle. But if you think about it, being intentional about like just doing it and some people like it more room temperature. I personally like in the winter, cold water is hard for me to drink. So I think figuring out your temperature is important. And then maybe you need it filtered. I know that when I got fresher water that was, didn't have so much of a flavor, it was easier for me to drink. And so those are just some tips that I have done. And then I know you had mentioned um, in our conversation about, you know, like fruit infused and things like yeah, that because for my clients that are stubborn and they're it's difficult for them to get in their water sometimes they need a little flavor now the water quality does matter so like you mentioned filtered water um alkaline water is really good yeah. for us as well it helps to balance the body internally and reduce inflammation but being able to infuse your water with fruit if you could have a little yes. bit of strawberries or mint or cucumbers um i even like 
like even grapefruit, you know, whatever you enjoy, um, you could actually infuse and put, you know, just a little, little slices or something so many, like that in there. And there's so many cups now. This is kind of similar where there's going to be a little, there's going to be an element in the cup. You can find them anywhere where you can put that fruit in. If you don't want like the pulp and the little, you know, lemon seeds and things like that going into your water. So, and you will find what's interesting because I've never been, had much of a thirst. I've never really been thirsty most of my life. I'm that doesn't drive me, but once I really started getting my water in your thirst, um, reflex comes alive. You start wanting to drink more. So that's where, um, it gets easier. If you can just get past that first part of, Oh, I don't want to drink all this water and you get your body used to it. You're not going to be going to the bathroom as often, often, and your body's going to be actually craving water. Did you find that too? Yeah, absolutely. It becomes a habit. And what I notice too, is when I do get my water in, I, it helps me to flush inflammation. And usually like the scale will go down the next day, just because yes. you're flushing out any toxins and things that I, I call the issues in your tissues, you know, where we store yes. all this stuff in our bodies. And um, especially, you know, if somebody is, uh, you know, been naughty during the holidays and maybe had too much sugar or too much sodium, something like that, the water is the first step to really flush all that out. So, and I can see it in the structure and function of the skin as an esthetician. I can always tell when people whine and dine and don't get enough hydration, it usually shows up between their eyebrows. I noticed the crinkles wow. get a little more pronounced and, and uh, it gets a little more withdrawn dark circles get a little more sunken in. So I can that's, definitely tell when somebody's dehydrated. That's interesting. And I've even seen people do like water challenges. You know how we have the before and after photos after a procedure or using a product. I have seen people that increase their water and even things like dark circles, like you mm -hmm. talked about go away. People just look more refreshed. They look more alive. So it is amazing that hydration. And that's where I just love about you, Angelique, because you're always so concerned about the foundation, making sure the foundation mm -hmm. is solid instead of just throwing band-aids on top of problems or, you know, th that you're, that are just going to grow. If we just you know, ignore the baseline health, you can't build upon anything from that. So we're both on the same page with let's make sure that foundation is solid and that we're, you know, really covering the basics before we go on to more advanced <laughs> type. Things. Absolutely. Yep. You can't skip the basic fundamentals because then everything else is just going to be surface level, you know, and it's only going to have limited results. So we which want swings, you guys to have long-term results. <laughs> absolutely. Which swings into with water are superfoods, right? Yes. Absolutely. So superfoods, first of all, let me elaborate on superfoods. You always hear that term thrown around, but do people really know what that means? What a superfood is, is it's a category of foods that actually does not need a lot of digestion to be processed and converts directly into energy. It is nutrient dense. So you have certain superfoods. Cacao is a superfood, which has more um, antioxidants than blueberries. You've got like spirulina and chlorella, and those things can be binders to toxins also that pair well with your water. Um, you know, a, anything that is a constant, a, a, a concentrated version of like your greens and, and all uh -huh. of that stuff, it will just convert straight into like energy. Turmeric even, vitamins and minerals. Is a super food, right? If you're having turmeric and different things. Yeah, like that. absolutely. And those foods help to reduce inflammation and they have the antioxidant properties in them help, you know, really just gobble up like the gunk in your bloodstream. So it flows and improves your circulation. You know, there's just so many benefits. And one of the things I love, two things, number one, I have my favorite, you know, greens mix because sometimes it's hard to get all your greens in during the day. Yes. So maybe you can throw them in a shaker. You can throw it in your water and just drink it down. And again, it, since it's in your water and it's powdered, it's just going to absorb right to the intestinal tract to give you those dense nutrients. But I also love like our whole food meal replacements because those include our greens and superfoods. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting a complete profile. So you actually can replace a meal and how simple during these crazy times, right? To be able to just really just add water, blend it up. I even shake it up on the go. Sometimes I don't even have a blender and I still like it. And it's 
um, fills me up. And I feel like, wow, I've really gotten a full meal instead of just going through a drive up and, you know, grab greasy things that end up you're full for a minute. And then you're like hungry and you consumed all of these calories versus getting so much, like you said, super packed nutrition and a small amount of calories. Yeah. And I know if I eat too late, it really disrupts my quality of sleep. And then I'm lethargic in the morning, you know, I'm, you know, it's like any empty carbs and empty foods really just weigh me down and bog me down in the first thing in the morning. So sometimes if it's a little too late in the day, you know, you're better off just shaking up some greens or whatever. And that way you're not, you're not depriving yourself of nutrition. Right. You're getting your nutrition in without filling up your belly and your gut and having to work so hard to process it all. And, and our bodies are supposed to, when we sleep, be repairing, but mm -hmm. if it's digesting food, then it d can't do the repair processes. So, and if we're not repairing, then that means we're going to age faster. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's true. That is so true. And I tell people, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, you're doing your cellular repair at night. So it's like, that's when it's most important to put on skincare, that, but your body actually needs that time of rest in order to repair. So if you've got a big meal sitting in your tummy, it's focused more on digesting all that food than actually, uh, than actually repairing the body. So it so is essential. And we've kind of touched on sleep. So let's just go ahead and swing into that, which this topic also overlaps one of our other talks as well, because sleep and hydration, those two overlap because they're so vital to everything. If we're not getting enough sleep, our mind, body, even our skin is going to look dull. It's not going to look like it should. So having a routine before bed to kind of turn those electronics off and to take a hot Epsom salt bath and you know, maybe or sea salt, take... sea salt. Yeah. Too. yeah. And I did want to mention this sea salt and Epsom salt actually have a little bit different properties. So, okay. you know, so uh, you may switch it up once in a while too. And that magnesium in the salt is really good for re releasing and relaxing muscle tension. Exactly. So getting a good night's sleep is so important to overall health and looking more youthful. Yeah. And, and if you need help sleeping, I'll also mention these tips chamomile tea, a lavender essential oil, um, taking CBD, you know, botanicals. Yeah. Those are all things like I'm a, I'm a person that's very sensitive to anything that makes me drowsy. So I have to stay away from that stuff. So, um, I have my whole toolkit <laughs> full of different <laughs> botanicals and things to support me and in improving my quality of rest, or at least just helping me wind down so I yes. can go to sleep earlier. But you do need to kind of set a time frame because when I get away from my time where I'm like, okay, let me shut start shutting down. Then my sleep gets thrown off. I end up later and later and later. And I notice even with my clients, when, when they come in, if they're not getting enough sleep, I notice their skin is like more dry surface dry. And I can see the difference for sure. That's interesting. Let's then cover um, cleanse and detox regularly. And yes. this, especially for like acne type prone. Cause you can, I mean, as we age, we still can get acne. I talk to a lot of people that yeah as they're going through menopause and all of that, they still can deal with acne, which, you know, that can, and then if we get those scars that ages our skin as well, when we are dealing with a lot of breakouts. Absolutely. Yeah. I spent three years just treating acne all day, every day. And, and so much of what I did was talking about cleansing and detoxing and gut health and gut balancing and diet and substitutions, because what happens is that throughout time, and it, I had acne clients of all different ages, and they're going, I'm not a teenager. Why am I still having this issue? Well, we have hormonal fluctuations, and the type of foods that we eat can trigger or be hormone disruptors. And your body has certain enzymes to process uh, dietary fats and hormones, and it'll, if there's an influx, it'll prioritize eating up the hormones and send the dietary fats to the skin. It's this whole chain reaction that goes off. 
But what I tell people is that it usually takes, you know, when it, when you've got that kind of a reaction going on, it can take up to six weeks to cleanse and detox your diet. Now it's good if you can do a cleanse periodically just to jumpstart your progress, whether it's seven days or nine days, sometimes that's what you need to get just a little jumpstart. Once you get through that, what I find is most people are like, well, Hey, I'm feeling great. Let me just go another 30 days, you know? And I really do believe that if you're not living a lifestyle of cleansing and detoxing, you should be doing it at least quarterly on a quarterly basis. Yes. We need to flush toxins. We need to flush, uh, envi- you know, the uh, environmental pollutants, stuff yes. that comes in our foods, parasites. There's a lot of different things. And even, you know, heavy metal um, toxicity actually can eat away at your collagen, you know, and, and so things like that will aid you when those toxins build up in your system. And yes. if you can clear them out, then the body can repair properly again. And again, that, you know, we, we cycle our dead skin cells every so many yes. days. You can be a new you, depending on your age, like how many, you know, as we slough all that off, um, exactly. you know, your new skin cells can emerge and you can regenerate. Yes. And let's talk about also make sure your skincare, and this is definitely your arena, you know, make sure your skincare has, um, anti-aging properties in it. And our skin is our largest organ. We don't want to be putting things that are going to be super toxic on our skin. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, like in Europe, they have like 38 different ingredients that are banned in Europe that we use in our cosmetics and skincare and our, wow. uh, our body washes and shampoos and all these toiletries. And so I always look at what they're doing. I always look for clean companies to purchase from because, you know, every, especially for women, we put so many different products on our skin before going out during the day. But there's two things that I always tell people. Number one, you know, I'm always about the basic fundamentals yes. you know, of skin health, proper oil and proper water balance. Those things, when you are no longer stripping away your skin, you know, and the oils on your skin and you're leaving good quality oils, you're hydrating. And, and it's amazing how your skin will plump up and smooth yes. out when you stop being harsh. You don't need to use a ton of things that, um, you know, I, I know people that are over exfoliating, over yes. scrubbing. You don't need to do that. And <laughs> the end in the, um, like when they use the strong enzymes to do peels, right? Like if they're not gentle peels, it can be really, um, rough on the skin as well, right? Like yeah, it can thin strong. the skin over time and, and really compromise the protective barrier. And so the so the basic fundamentals are the proper oil and water balance. But once you're balanced, then you're going to want to make sure that you have, and, and this could be a combined effort because, there, you know, I know some of the skincare that we love, it will not only be it, it prevent you from stripping and drying your skin, but it has active ingredients. And the active ingredients really help to stimulate more of that skin skin repair. And when your skin is well hydrated, that water serves as a transport mechanism to pull those active ingredients into the lower layers of the skin. If you are using some harsh cleanser that's bubbling and stripping away your oils and everything, you can have the most expensive cream on the planet. But if that water is missing, it's not going to pull those ingredients into the skin to really have a, a, a good effect for repairing the skin. Right. Right. And then do we want to swing into really what you call skin nutrition, right? Like, oh yeah. Nourishing yeah. the skin from the inside out, which I don't think people realize you can do that. It's not just topically and it's not just, you know, um, getting the toxins out, but then also putting in what our body doesn't produce anymore. Yeah, it's amazing. I just took an advanced course on pigmentation recently because that's a common problem. People having dark spots, age spots, maybe the mask of pre pregnancy and melasma. And it is amazing how much of it it's like, yes, you have sun, but it's amazing how much of it is correlated to toxins in the system and to a, a vitamin and mineral deficiency because certain nutrients can help with the repair from the inside out. So, you know, our favorite skincare line, the, the serum has what's called licorice root serum, which I'm a 
huge fan of. I was so excited when they had this ingredient because um, rather than using a skin bleach, you know, like some of the harsh chemicals, this with consistent use over time will gently lighten and brighten from the outside. But there are certain nutrients that we need from the inside. And you'll notice even like our seasonal berries and fruits and all those things play a role and actually play a role in us resisting the sun too. I actually wrote right. an ebook on this. Um, and so so being able to properly re resist the sun, but then along came, you know, we we're learning so much more today. And what we're learning is our body naturally gets depleted over time and we stop producing essential, you know, uh, things within our body, whether that's your stomach acid, whether it's collagen, whether it's stem cells that repair. So one of the things that I love that has been a game changer that I pair with all my treatments in the clinic is our collagen beauty elixir. And so I was aware years ago about type one marine collagen, how we would use it topically. And so when I saw it shift into supplementation, made perfect sense, but it's not just that, it's the blend of all the other vitamins, nutrients, and antioxidants that go into it and the sourcing, making sure that it comes yeah. because you can't beat clean Scandinavian waters from, from Norway. That is so important because I can't tell you how many formulations clients have brought to me that were carp and, and tilapia and all kinds of bottom right. feeders, <laughs> you know, you and that little, eat. the little single doses are important. And we are seeing more companies doing the single doses, but definitely the amber glass is still the best because Absolutely. it's, you know, the glass really prevents all airflow from happening. And then the amber helps from the sun um, breaking it down through the sun rays. So yeah, the little, and, and collagen is so delicate. That's what I think is interesting. It's very, it's, it can be broken down very easily. So it is important. It's bottled in like under a second and then it's single use. So you're going and to- And I really like the liquid collagen because once you start drying and powdering and all these other yes. things, it, it loses, it's no longer as close to its original natural form. I agree. And then the I absorption agree. rate is higher as a liquid as well. So there's there's so many benefits to it. And I start my clients off when I, they have a lot of sagging skin, dark circles or the crow's feet. You know, it, first of all, lifestyle design makes a big difference. I always joke when I quit corporate America, it's amazing how those lines disappear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's like, we've got with the, you know, here it is many years later. And, you know, I have things like this and I, and I um, tell my clients dosage matters. So when you're first starting drink one in the morning and one in the evening, because that's how you're going to get the maximum impact to actually create plump, supple skin. And the hydration pairs with that as well. It's like you're, when you have the collagen and then you have the water, it's like everything just right. pumps up and, and plumps up and smooths out. And that's what keeps us looking young and youthful yes. is having plump, supple skin. We're supposed to be round and soft and, you know, just and not have a, those baby faces. We want to keep our baby faces. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And please, if you are watching this, and you have any questions, you feel free to reach out, you know, Angelique, if you want to put your, you know, we'll put your, our information, you know, how to reach you if they have questions or would want to have maybe a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you to know what would be best for their specific skin types, all of those kinds of things. We will have a link in the comment section so that you can reach out um, to Angelique for the professional questions, or, you know, even if you want to know how to get a hold of the products or what should you use on your face, she's really good yeah. about that as well. So thank you. And please, please, please don't just go by over the counter. Right. <laughs> like just please, you know, it's so interesting because a lot of people will say, well, I got this at Costco or I found this at Target or it. And the, the truth is, is that, you know, there's a middleman. And so, you know, just because something may be cheap, doesn't mean it's good. Like I said, I read right. a lot of my clients' formulations. And when it comes to skincare, it's like you're going to get a higher concentration of active ingredients when you're either going through a licensed professional or ordering directly from a right. company 
rather than what you see over the counter because I'll, I'll, I'll make this one little tip so just to, so you guys understand. When it comes to things like skincare and stuff like that, then they go to mass market and have to sit on the shelves. The FDA requires them to add preservatives for extended wow. shelf life. Now, here's the thing. They start to water it down, adding water, then proliferates bacteria and then you've got to put in the the uh the preservatives and then the preservatives oh. don't smell good so then they add fragrance and so they They're just may have, layering they may have a trace amount of what what you're looking for but it's not going to it, it's have the same efficacy it's not going to work as quickly it's not going to have the same concentration so those are things to be aware of and even you know with with the collagen i saw you know it's like 10 different collagens and it's like okay but if i want you taking 10 grams of type 1 marine collagen specifically just by sheer mathematics you're only going to be getting 2 grams of right. marine collagen Luckily, they can't guarantee that because it's been powdered and shook up right. in the bag and all right. that stuff. Exactly. So, so more is not better, right? So just because you're seeing 10 grams does not mean you actually are getting more marine collagen. So right. I, different types. I even had somebody contact me one time and they're like, they were looking at omega-3 fatty acids. And he's like, look at this big jar you can get for like $35. And I, I was like, that is literally going to spoil before you can even take it all. <laughs> like, there's no way you're going to consume this big jug of omega-3s right. like, before its expiration date. That's just not going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, thank you for joining us. And this is our third of our beauty series, our holiday beauty series. And we will have it all loaded up here on YouTube. And you can click and watch the replay if you missed it live. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope you all have a happy holiday. Feel free to contact us through the holidays. We are here to support you in all your beauty and wellness goals. So we're so happy to have you here and we hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.